Virgos, welcome to your love reading for January 2024. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Just click on the link tree below to contact me or text me at 646-902-575. So 5715. Otherwise, let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit, angels, divine God's universe. Can you please know your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Virgos, for love, for January 2024? Can you please show me the energies of Virgo passed out of prior to? We have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Alrighty, make sure you click on the Vimeo link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling, and that's right off something you do not know about them. And if they're interested in or seeing somebody else, we have the King of Wands in the reverse for um, love energies for January. In my playlist, your 2024 Sun Moon readings, I still have some that have not been done. Put your requests in the comments. I'll put you in queue and get them done. Um, 2023s are still in there. Check those out. See if they ran true for you or somebody else. Temperance card is in the upright. That is a card of Sagittarius for as you move out of January into February. So let's get to your reading. I'm probably going to need clarifiers to clear this up a little bit for me. Um, but with the five of pentacles in reverse energies prior to January, I see that you've come out of something that was very difficult for you. Um, typically five of pentacles in reverse is a huge struggle, um, you know, that you've been through, but getting to the other side of it, getting to see the light at the end of the tunnel, feeling hopeful, starting to feel like your old self again. So whatever struggles you had prior to January, it looks like you're coming out of them. And it really did test you. It was really difficult um, for you. It was huge adversity, huge hardship, huge challenges. Um, but you're to the other side of it now. And now you're starting to kind of get hopeful that you can kind of move forward from whatever it was. Now, I'm going to actually do clarifiers one by one because I don't want to speak on these cards. I'm going to do it uh, differently, which I'm sure you guys don't care. But I'm just letting you know. So why is the five of pentacles here in the reverse for Virgo's energies prior to energies prior to January? Yeah, some sort of loss. Um, something happened and it was unbearable. I mean, it was absolutely you felt it in the depths of your soul. You were grieving over it. The what if, what if, what could have been, what should have been. How can I get the wine back in those cups? And you're so absorbed with, we're so absorbed with whatever that was. You couldn't even see the the chalices behind you, which have a lot of wonderful things if you were to just turn around. But you had a very, very difficult time with that. Okay, Two of Swords in the upright. This is a card of decisions, deciding what you're going to do possibly in regards to this. Not being able to trust that, you know, what you see is kind of what you get. Um, but I think you came up with an answer on how to move forward um, through instead of uh, in, through using your senses, your other senses that you have while guarding your heart. And did see your way forward with the Eight of Wands in the upright saying, hey, I can't stay in this place forever. I got to push out of this and I got to make it happen quickly. So I do you feel like you decided to push forward, um, you know, out of whatever it was. And like I said, quickly. <laughs> so it's good that you made the decision to kind of do that and get back on your feet again. Um, why is the King of Wands here in reverse? Oh, okay. But now you're fearful as you move forward. You're not really confident in love. You really have concerns. You're doubting yourself. You don't want to fall into a similar situation. You're worried that you're going to, yeah, the history is going to repeat itself. So with the full card in reverse, you're concerned that you're going to jump into something again without knowing the downsides or the consequences and, you know, you know, rushing in. And then after the fact being like, oh, I shouldn't have done that, you know? So I think whatever it was, it burnt you pretty badly that you're not sure that you want to love again. Strength card in reverse is the card of Leo, and that's a card of insecurity is not having inner strength, doubting oneself in regards to love. You know, can you can you love again? Would you be able to love again? And the three of swords the upright tells me you're still, even though you've come out of the woods, you're not entirely, entirely, let's put it this way, you're out of the woods, you're not across the pasture, because it still tells me that um, whatever you went through is weighing very heavily on your mind and in your heart um you feel like you got your heart got pierced three times so to speak either through betrayal or what happened um there's still darkness that kind of follows you around in regards to this so you don't know if you're ever going to be able to trust somebody again in that regard why is the temperance card here in the upright for energies after january okay things turn around after january i don't know if it's a person or i almost feel as though you take the 
you decide to be proactive about not kind of staying in any of this space anymore um because with the temperance card in the upright that's you making a decision to say hey i need to look at the bright things the good things that are going on in my life and not continue to dwell on negative things negative thought patterns negative feelings you know things of that regard and you're saying to yourself how can i find peace again? How can I be calm again? How can I not let my feelings kind of, you know, run the course for me? You know, um, how can I temper how I feel about things? And, and I think you're gaining control over your emotions in that regard. It might even be, be, be making sure to stay very present, to meditate and things of that nature. Ace of Wands is kind of a new beginning in this regard. You kind of saying to yourself, hey, what can I get excited about? what awaits me in life? I need to feel that excitement. I need to create. I mean, I need to do something um, that I'm very passionate about. So it looks like you're trying to change, um, you know, change your being and how you are being. Queen of Swords in the upright is you saying, what is my way forward? I don't want to continue being like this. I, I see that I want to be there. How do I get there? And how do I make sure that the people that I meet along the way are not going to be holding me back or not going to hurt me? are not going to distract me how can i be sure to make sure that they're being honest and that their intention is true you know you guys are eagle eyes you're very good at picking up details and red flags so maybe you're going to be sure to implement that more and then believe it or not as you go through this transformation i actually believe that you're going to meet somebody um I always kind of say that we need to um, become the work towards being the best versions of ourselves so that we can meet the best version for ourselves. And I think that in doing all this work, you're going to attract somebody to you who actually is going through the same thing, thinking the same way, has the same values, totally understands what you're going through. And the two of you are really going to click in a very soulmate-ish, twin flame-ish, the one uh, sort of way. So this could be a path, a springboard that's going to lead to something. Um, if you kind of follow this plan, so to speak. So that's what I have for you all. If it does resonate, consider a personal pre-recorded or a live reading. Just click on the link tree below to contact me or text me at 646-902-5715. Otherwise, make sure you click on the Vimeo link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling. In that spread, I'll have something you do not know about them in addition to whether or not they're seeing or interested in somebody else. In my playlist or your 2024 sun moon readings, I still have a few out. Put your requests in the comments. I'll put you in queue. 2023s are still in there. See if they ran true for you or somebody else. And then finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, donate, refer a friend in support of my efforts. That is always greatly appreciated. Otherwise, Virgos, I'll see you in the Vimeo. Adios for Veronica Garnett. Bye.